Any okay. question? If don't have, I'll move on to the next part. Next part, we'll learn how to measure. Okay. So for example, I go into, okay, maybe I still walk.
so what you do is meaning you go to whatever view will be there la. so you just click clear then it will show so that's measurement la. so you can measure anything if you want say you want to know the width of this column right well you can do that as well so you measure right then you measure then you know this one point three but so stupid right hello you can just use the property like friend, you can just use the property to find out <laughs> the size of the column, right? <laughs> yeah, why not? So, so stupid, ah. Okay, so anyway, just want to emphasize that measurement is for distances, for clearance, for height requirement whatsoever. If you want to know the thickness, then you go to the property. Uh, I noticed that we can only measure one. Yeah. Can we not have all the measurements? Like for example, I want to measure the height and then uh, I want to measure another item but ah. still showing the previous measurement. Cannot. That can only be done in manage, oh. in the paid version. So in the free version, they only show you one thing. Yeah. Like ship show. Yeah. They show you one thing at one time. Okay. For manage, you can even save the measurement and then you can cloud la, you can put text la. That's the paid version. Ask, like yeah. for example, the, the token anchor angle and coach mm. into the evidence, right? You mm. want to measure and snap to the point, uh, mm. to measure the distance, uh, is it? Uh, snap to the point, because it's at a uh, incline yes. angle. Uh. Okay, that one's more very hard. Uh, that one can only give you an estimated distance. Mm. To measure that, I suggest that you measure it in true view, where you can set. <coughs> can also open 3D. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or in uh, design review, that one can. So but for this one, for angle wise, if you want to specify, it's not really, can't really do that. It's only an estimation. Yeah. So they cannot like, really snap to the point and can apply it. So it's kind of sad. Yeah. Okay, then, um, oh yeah, another thing is, some technical team feedback to me that the beam lead told them that Navisworks cannot measure FFL, meaning elevation, uh, which is not true. Uh. So, yeah, under measure, right, you can see this small little, so it clicks. Yeah, with this, you can see the elevation, means the level. So, if I just use measure, I don't lock to anything, I measure, measure, right? You can see the elevation. So you can tell that this floor is either screen or cast to fall, then it's at different level. So the elevation of this floor is at 1.5.801. Okay. So this is how you can know the levels. Yeah. So this window comes out under review. Next to the measure. Small little arrow here, you just click on it and then it will appear and it will tell you the elevation. Okay. If no problem, we will learn how to cut section. Oh, again, you see my, I, my, my mouse is in measurement mode, so just remember to go back to select. Select easier to manage. learn how to cut section. This one needs concentration again. So please, please listen up. This will be better thing. So, to cut section, it's under viewpoint, something called enable section view. Okay. When I click that, it will be in blue, and then you will jump to this screen. You can see a uh, a horizontal cut of the floor plate. So you can see your first story kind of cut, you can see the columns all there. Okay, so this is the default cut plate. <coughs> Just to introduce, to cut section in MSWorks, there are two ways. One is by cutting plane using the surface, one is by using box. Highly don't recommend to use box 
because unless you're very pro in the episode. To use box, you have to manipulate the size of the box. So, highly recommend, but I'll go through that later. We'll go through the planes first. So, if you're using planes, you can see that there are total six planes. Because a tube got six sides. Cut all six sides. Okay. Plane one, uh, your default plane is always plane one. And <coughs> plane one is always the top plane. That's why you see your alignment is top. And hence your section gun cut is also from the top. And you can see your cut lines are in red, meaning these are the cross cross section cutting lines. And you can change it. So let's learn how to change it. Under global option. So right click the background or press F12. Okay. Under interface, under interface, go to section A. Okay. You can change the color to any color you want. Say today I prefer fire or more. So I click OK. Let's see. You don't change also can uh, default is red, uh, it's really up to you. learn how to cut a long section, long designer section. So I go out from this top alignment, I off the plane. Notice that next to the plane there's a light bulb. This light bulb acts like the acts like the AutoCAD layer on off. Uh. So if I off the light bulb, my whole building is up because my cutting plane is off. So you should know the difference. So you go See, I want to cut a long section. So my I go to alignment. Okay. And then I align to surface. The fastest method to cut a section is align to surface. Align to surface meaning I select the cutting <coughs> plane based on the surface. So my mouse will change. I click. After I click, my mouse will revert back to the usual cursor. And I turn on the plane. And you will see that it got cut. And when I click on move, I drag my arrow across this along this axis and it can cut in, cut out, cut in. Okay, I let's do it again. Uh. By default, it's top. Now I want to cut a long section based on the surface. So I turn off the, the light. I turn off the light bulb. Click the light bulb. Your plane will be off. You see? No light. I go to alignment. Select a line to surface. Click. Your cursor will change from crosshair. You click on the surface. on the light bulb, you can see character. To move in and out, you click on move. It will be highlighted in blue. And you drag along the axis. That's how you cut a long section based on the surface. That's the sound of the screen. Can? 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 Oh, you can. <laughs> Okay, so you go to the plane here, turn off the light bulb, go to the plane again, click the light bulb, click. Ah, okay, the whole thing was here. Yeah. Now, you go near this side, yes, you mean, alright, great. Now, you go to elevate, uh, alignment, align the surface, click on the wall, mm. Then you turn on the plane again. Turn on the light bulb. Turn on the light bulb. Yes. Yeah. Then you can drag along the axis. Right. Yes. Yeah. Then you drag in. Yes. Correct. Right. Just remember the light bulb and the selecting of the plane is different. Okay. You can. You can. Have you aligned the plane to surface? Your 
Andrew, Andrew, I like him, but there's some shiny. And G, drag along, yes. Wait, wait, no, yeah. Everybody got it? 
if you don't understand, you have to ask them. Okay. So that is cutting flame cut section. May cutting may cutting section is in the side kind of thing. <coughs> yeah. For that tree. What do you mean? In the side. Uh, in, a, in the top. Oh, you, you align again, it's okay one. You can always realign one, no, no problem. Then click. Mm, then click. Yeah. You try to move up down. No. Oh, I think you have to go closer. Closer? Ah, so that you can select the correct surface. Because I think you click on the... Mm. You click on the... Click on the surface. Ah, okay. Then you align again. Align the surface. Click on the blue one. Ah, yeah. 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 Okay. Let's learn briefly how to cut section using box cutters. Don't recommend, but well, if you want you to do it. So if you click on box, right, you realize that your whole model is gone because the box is too small. So you have to because it's too small, right? So everything got cut. So that's why it becomes. So you go to scale. Scale meaning you make the box bigger. So if I pull the blue arrow up, uh, you see my model will appear because I enlarge the box. I enlarge it uh, this way, uh, vertically. So that means it will be more can see. This is how you do it. If I want to make my box slimmer, thinner, uh, so I drag it along the green one and then you'll be stable. So this is the box. Okay, so this is scaling of the box. Once you have reached your satisfied size of the box, you go to move. You go to move. Then you can move along the building to cut anywhere that you want. Some people prefer the box, some people I would say that uh, you cut section using the box right is to see the general area, the relationship between the levels of the level. But if you really need to do coordination and you want to analyze the area, is you cut section, you cut the plane, you cut using plane. I would say, uh, okay. but personal preference again, uh, but box you have to control very well because the whole world will have to watch you move the box to. The location there, the whole world has to wait for you, uh, so decide, okay, do what you want. Yeah, so basically that's the box. Any questions? So what do you use the box of okay. <laughs> It's easier, right? Of course, you have to make the size to the, especially if you have Mandai, uh, the building is like that, like that. I don't know if it's set up. I don't know, it's up to you. Sure, I can bomb the line, but section. Oh, here, station, maybe you can. Oh, zero is not a line, I don't know how you do this. But when people tell me, girl, you can bomb the scale, you know, but yeah, it's Okay, so, no more questions, then we'll end the next episode. Wait, no. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Now you can't remember that. You have to be more of
if you follow your main matrix, you know, you push you all about that resource. Okay, anyway, you open it here, and then you will be a black one. Okay, open desk data review, right, is what we usually call it as the open desk PDF. Okay, so further illustrate, you all click on this icon. <coughs> If I select, this will be in blue. 